All right, real quick before we go ahead and get started, if you don't want to hear what I have to say right now, just go ahead and skip forward. No harm, no foul. Really, really appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing the channel. We were getting views that we haven't gotten in a very, very, very long time. Now, I don't value my worth based off of views and nobody should. However, it does feel good when kind of like the hard work pays off, uh, you know, so to speak. So really appreciate uh, you, all you guys watching the videos, you know, start to finish, drop in your comments. Of course, my call to action is always make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Helps people get more eyes and get more recommendations, all that good stuff. So anyway, thank you guys so much. All right, update 3.1. I'm sure plenty of you watching this have had tons of time to play the new update. And we're going to be talking about, because it was such, I mean, it still is such a hot button issue, a hot button topic. And that is of course the DBS from classics all the way up to esports. The DBS is everywhere. It's absolutely everywhere. PUBG Mobile recognize this. For those of you DBS lovers out there, rest assured, okay? The weapon is still incredibly strong but having said that for those of you that thought that the for those of you that use the dbs that thought wow i'm deleting the game that they, they, they ruined the dbs i'm not even gonna play anymore rest assured it's still really really strong dare i say i really like what they did i know they were very i i'm, I'm sure they had a lot of suit and ties making these decisions you know they had the whole you know board meetings they were very very particular on how they were going to address this issue and address the dbs so it's still incredibly strong cqc which i'm about to demonstrate for you guys very very strong it will still one shot knock you and here's the thing at the end of the day it is still a shotgun any shotgun in the game is going to one shot knock you or one shot kill you in the entire game that goes for the pump that goes for the over under that goes for the one in new the NS, whatever it's called, NS2000. Uh, that goes for the M10. Any shotgun in the game from close range, you know, we're talking five meters or less, is going to knock you. And it should. Because the DBS was knocking everybody, it got obviously a very, very bad rap very, very quickly. But ask yourself this. When have you ever been happy? Or when have you ever been satisfied being knocked or killed by somebody with a shotgun. I don't care if it's a DBS, if it's a if it's a pump, if it's the over under, any shotgun knock in a CQC situation feels bad. And it should. Okay. So what they did do though, let me go ahead and get this playing for you guys. I got off my soapbox. What they did do is they nerfed it from the area that was the most annoying. And that of course the most annoying part of the DBS was range. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a, a perfect example. Huge shout out to Sam. This is from 10 meters. And we're not going to be testing the level one dummy or the level two dummy. We're going to go straight to level three because whatever it does to three, it will be even more compounded and do even more damage to two and one. I'm sure you guys all at home understand. So. We're gonna show it up close and personal. So from this range right here, okay? From this range right here, which is 10 meters. All right, so that right there, so that headshot was 126. So if you have a level three helmet and you're at this range, keep in mind, 10, 11, 12 meters, depending on the size of the building or the building that you're in, you know, any type of room in a building, it will still knock you, okay? It's still going to knock you. All right, look, that was 222, but he knocked the vest off. So let me go ahead and show you guys this one. So right here, that was 104. So even again, 11 meters out, it's still going to knock you from this range. All right. Now where it lost a lot of its effectiveness is from like this type of distance with the DBS. So look at that right there. 86. Again, it's a level three vest, but but we all know level three armor is extremely common. It's readily available pretty much everywhere you go. Mid game, end game, most people, most people, not all, most people are level three out at the state of the game right now. Okay, helmet and vest. 
So this distance, look, 43. Even that headshot from this distance did 93. It will not kill you. And this is a pretty far range. The pump, the over under, I'm pretty sure, maybe we should have tested it in hindsight, but no shotgun should be able to knock you from this range if you're level threed out. The DBS will no longer, when before it could. You guys can see the spread. Look at the spread behind the dummy. It's the spread is definitely noticeable. Before all of those pellets were incredibly concentrated coming out of those shells. Those plastic shells filled with pellets are no longer concentrated. They're much more fanned out. So you're not taking as much damage. This is probably this is probably this right here. This is the distance where the majority of your engagements are. Yes, there were some people hitting people from you know 30 meters away. And that was definitely, uh, rightfully so, a moment to be incredibly frustrated and pissed off when you're getting knocked from, you know, 30, 40 meters away with the DBS. This range, you have nothing to complain about. It is a shotgun. Yes, it shoots fast, okay? But there's going to be an SMG that's better than all the other SMGs. There's going to be an AR that's better than all the ARs. The DBS is the shotgun that is going to be and still is better than all the other shotguns you got 14 you have 14 rounds okay 14 rounds and you can two tap so for example the dbs is just an incredibly fast over under you know that that has two shots boom boom but it has a very long reload the dbs doesn't it's boom boom ch -ch -ch, boom boom it's very very fast <coughs> so it's still going to be most weapons in the game. It's still going to beat any SMG as long as you hit your shots. And like Sam says, as long as you have good ping, it's going to be an MG3. It's going to beat everything. If you hit your shots from this range with the DBS post 3.1 update, it will still knock you immediately. Let's look at this shot from the DBS. So look, this is about 10 meters away. Look, bang, one shot, you're dead. What was this health? Not that it even mattered, I don't think. Oh, look, he's got level three. He's got a level three helmet. He has, oh, he's, oh no. He has level two helmet, level three vest, okay? And he's at about, what, 70% health? Look, you guys, boom. You can still be knocked post three point update. No question. I like the nerf that they did. Where like from this range before, if he had the DBS, this guy way over here, 15 meters out easy knock granted he has a ump but that's it besides the argument but from this type of range it'd be no question ump is still op you guys already know see look oh see here's from a d okay this is good this is 50 meters i imagine this is a bot all right look look how many shots it takes look at this this like i said they did they did a great job again no one's happy when they get knocked by a shotgun trust me no one's like oh yeah yeah you know great job with the pump Wow, I got owned by the, the six days. No, you're mad. You're very, very upset. Look, boom. Here that there's the over under. That's the 686. Uh, but you saw that range 50 meters before. It was boom boom knock. I think he landed what five or six shots. All white hit markers, no knock. What do you guys think? Have you noticed a difference? Are you happy with the nerf? Is it still too strong? Next thing I want to quickly touch on. There's really not a whole lot to say. All right, I, I mentioned this in my, my update recap video, which is the Ace-32 and the barrel. Say what you want about these two weapons, uh, you know, whether you love them or hate them. To me, they were always, here's a night look, see? That type of range, that is, per, I think that is great. That is a great nerf right there. Anyway, let's get back to the next topic. Ace-32 and barrel. I've always thought these weapons were, were great. If anything, the barrel is incredibly effective. I truly don't know why. I don't know if it's because if they don't maybe spawn as often or it's just as something as simple as uh, people just overlooking the barrel. The barrel has always been very, very strong, incredibly OP, especially when you got some attachments on it, uh, like a vert and a compensator, very, very strong. What people don't like about it is the fact that the recoil 
isn't as easy to control. It's, you know, it has a kick to it and it should. It's a 7.62 millimeter caliber weapon. It has a kick, but it puts out a ton of damage. So the fact they made it more uh, user friendly by reducing recoil, I don't see in what world someone wouldn't want to use the barrel or at the bare minimum, give it a try. Because to me, again, it's always been strong. I don't even think they needed to touch it. They just made it even easier to use like they have with the catalog of weapons in the game. The weapon that I think, and it, it again, it really feels like PUBG is trying to be much more in line or more in line with PUBG PC and all the recent success that game has had, this you know, recent resurgence of popularity. PUBG PC, those of you that don't know, the Ace 32 for many is one of the best ARs in the game that is a world spawn because you can put a tack stock on it plus all the other normal attachments. It is a very, very effective weapon in PUBG PC. I feel like the Ace 32, contrary to the barrel, is incredibly overlooked. It just was missing like something. So the fact they've made that weapon easier to use, I imagine it's going to get much more playtime. But out of the two, out of the two weapons, I really do feel like uh, bo both weapons were fantastic. If anything, the Ace 32 needed some love and it got some. So overall, let me know what you guys think of your thoughts so far in the new 3.1 update. And specifically, let me know what you think about the DBS. Can't wait to read them.